All right, next up is one of our co-founders, Miss Secret York. Come on up. She needs, let's click that button. She needs 442 to take the lead. Keep that water off my... Do it. She Five. said she ain't gonna do it. What? What do you mean? 459. 459. All right. Her two-day total, once it saves there. Hold those up for a photo. <laughs> All right, Smith Secret, you are currently in first place with 1171 two-day wait. Anybody would like to thank, first of all? Oh, yeah. First of all, I have two really good sponsors back at home. Uh, High Tech Outdoors has sponsored me for all of my career, I guess. Um, and they're, they're good friends. They're not just sponsors. They're good friends, all of them. Precision Sonar is a place where I actually work. We build all the graph mounts that you have. We have the strongest graph mounts in the country. Uh, we also are the producer of the leash that's the tether for your motor to keep that thing coming up in the back of the boat with you. Um, and we are we also have a new line of lithium batteries that we just come out with. And best boss in the world, Alan, because me and two other guys there, they're at Grand Lake, Oklahoma right now fishing Toyota. He lets He hires fishermen and he lets us off to fish our tournaments. So if you don't get your mounts in the next week or so, you know, it's because we got to get back just to build them. But uh, this week has been absolutely awesome to me. Um, I fished, this is my 31st year. And I thought, I always said that to fish and travel these different lakes and stuff, you got to be real versatile. You have to go to a lake that find somebody that's home there that kind of show you a little bit about that lake and I thought that I was pretty good at that until I went co-angler <laughs> so co-angler you gotta be real versatile so like the practice time I practiced with Heather Broom we got on a uh, shaky head trick worm bite uh, a jerk bait bite of a color that she said, I wouldn't even buy that color, but whatever. Um, it worked, you know. And this lake is so vast, the, the different colors of the water and stuff, it's, it's you got to change, change, change. So I, I thought I was set up pretty good for the day while I get my partner, Vanetta, and she says, we're cranking. We're crankbaiting all day. And I'm like, really? So I traveled pretty light because I came with Heather, so I didn't bring all my stuff that's normally in my boat. So I went back to Heather and I said, can I just look in your boat and, you know, pick out a rod? I didn't have a cranking rod. <laughs> and, and I didn't want to, you know, say nothing to her. So she's like, whatever you need. So I got it and that's what I ended up there. So I and had a really good day. We had a great day. So I kind of was set up for today. Well, then I draw the, the baby over here for today. Hey, look at her. I said she's a fishing Barbie. Yeah, look at her. A tall fishing Barbie. But, so. What was she talking look about? Look at her. Look at her. Miss fishing yeah, Barbie. Yeah. It's so, a Barbie were her. Yeah. <laughs> look at your embarrassment today. And, and she's young. She's new. And I guess she's got a pretty good reputation for winning tournaments around here. But she fishing with her daddy, she fishing with her boyfriend, and they're all they're good sticks around this lake. And nobody has probably given that kid the credit that daddy and boyfriend probably has never come in and said, "Well, Chloe caught four of them." I bet you they've never said that. And she, th this is a so 30 years of the fishing, trying to keep it going, you know, and stuff was for her. Yeah. yeah. And the, the, for her, yeah. for the little ones that are holding yeah. fish off and, and on. This area, this resort, second to none. It's family. These people are our family. So, love it. Thank you. Thank you. Here comes your Toledo Bend champion, Pamela Howard. Uh, Call them green fish. No, no green fish. 649, 649. Good job. That's going to put you in the lead, and unfortunately, it's going to make Miss Secret have to step down. You want to give Miss Secret a handshake real quick before grabbing some fish? She was one of my first partners. First partners, awesome. Well, thank you for joining us up here on the Hot Seat Secret. Currently in second place.
Awesome. She's going to get real used to that. She won her last event, and now she's leading the second event of the season. First of all, let's give Miss Pamela Howard a, a big round of applause because she served this country in the Army, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. All right, Army. 21 years. 21 years in the I'm Army. Tired. So thank you for that. Everybody give her a big round of applause. Back home, make sure you guys are following Pamela online, Sharon. This is her dream to fish, and she's making it, and she's doing better every time she comes out. And now, I mean, you're up here in the top three, top five every time oh I God. see you, and I've only been around two tournaments. <laughs> and this is a surprise to me also. I mean, uh, it just really is. But first of all, I would like to thank my partner from yesterday, Terry Bittner, who put me on fish, and I brought three in yesterday. And then today, I would like to thank Leslie Anderson for putting me on fish. But I got to tell you about my day today with Leslie. I went out there, and one thing that I one thing that I've learned is, you, as Secret had said, you got to be very versatile as a co-angler. And something that I wasn't very uh, good, well, I wasn't good at at all because I didn't even know how to do it, but I had it tied on, was shaky head. And so I, she was doing really good on, with shaky head, and I said, well, I'm going to give this thing a try. And so she set me up with the what I needed for the shaky head, and then um, I caught my first fish. And it was a small mouth, and I was like, oh my gosh, I, I did it on a shaky head, and I caught a small mouth. And uh, those small mouth, I may have caught a small mouth before, but it never registered in my head how much fun they are. And oh my gosh, he just took it for a ride, and I just loved seeing him go through the water and go down under the boat and everything. So then uh, I ended up catching three smallmouth bass, and then culling two of the smallmouth bass. So it was a heck of a day. Leslie, thank you so much for teaching me how to do the shaky head. I really had a, two great days and it's been a, an awesome lake to be on. And I want to thank all of the fans out here for the support that you give. Thank you all. I, I loved being here and I look forward to our next tournament. Tight lines, you're awesome. Thank you so much for supporting me. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, well thanks for fishing with us. Join us in that hot seat for just a few minutes. All right, Miss Jenny Orlowski coming up. She needs 602 to take the lead. Their boat broke down with like 20 minutes to go. Or that wasn't you? 1230. 1230? Oh, 1230. We didn't find out until late then. All right, she needs 602. Would uh, 826 be good enough to go ahead and make a win? 826. I'll let you give hugs since you guys are roommates. 826. Congratulations, Give her a round of applause, your Bull Shoals champion, Miss Jenny Orlowski. All right, so I hadn't looked at the database to see you had never won one, but they said you've never won one? No, no, sir. All right. Well, wow, I don't know where to start. I, I have never uh, won an LBA tournament before, so uh, I'm a little emotional. Um, it's kind of been a lifelong dream, but after teaching for 34 years, <laughs> I finally decided I want to go fish. And uh, I, let me thank my practice partners, Leslie Anderson, who put me on a shaky head <laughs> and a bait. Uh, yesterday, Robbie Hartline, um, I was struggling a little bit. She put me on a bait for that uh, a magnum finesse worm for that shaky head. And um, and yesterday I caught my first fish on a crankbait. I've never caught one on a crankbait before, so that was kind of cool. Um, I did that with Robbie, so that was that was a lot of fun. Um, but I, I just want to thank my practice partners, um, my pros. I want to thank Marsha for being here and supporting me and taking care of me. Uh, thank you to my family who's watching. Hopefully some of them are, I think. Uh, appreciate that. I want to thank my sponsors, uh, Rock Creek Bay Company. They're in Mena, Arkansas. Check them out if you haven't. Uh, they make some beautiful hair jigs. Um, Kissler Rods, uh, Wu Tungsten, and uh, Pure Fishing. So just want to thank my sponsors. Just thank everybody and I'll see you at Table Rock. <laughs> let's get a picture. What would it be like to hold up this crystal trophy? Very, very cool. All right, let's get a picture of her. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations.
congratulations. Stay around so we can get a top three photo too, but I'm going to go ahead and do the pro side if you don't mind. Congratulations on your win. Chloe Barnum, come on up. She needs 14, 19 to overtake the lead. She's got a limit. Oh, oh, oh. 13.52, 13.52. It started at like 14.30 before the fish settled down, so it was like, oh. oh. All right, so that means she gets to stay around, but we can get to talk to you and get some pictures real quick. Oh, yeah. She's already a pro. She has to hold up four. Three. Oh, I thought you were going for four. I was going to say, I'm going to have Carly jo uh, Joe Previt come give you a lesson to hold all five. She'll put one in her mouth. <laughs> give her a round of applause. Second place right now, currently in her first pro tournament. Yep. You get your own mic today. I know last, oh, so a week and a half ago, you fished the World Fishing Tour. You were the highest placing female angler in that. So you won your entry into the LBAA, which she had already registered for this, by the way. She was fishing her home lake. But she came up and goes, so do I get a refund? <laughs> so she got a refund check. So what was it like fishing your first ever Women's Pro Bass Tour event and able to do it on your home lake? It was good. I'm glad that it, I could fish my first one on my home lake for sure. Um, I want to thank my family, everyone that came, and especially my dad <laughs> and my boyfriend and his family for making it all happen, and Abby too. <laughs> and secret was, I know it's hard staring at the back of my head all day, but she made the best of it. Secret's a heck of an angler. Are we going to see you at Table Rock? Are we going to see you come join us on a few stops on tour over the next couple of years? Are you going to make a run at trying to compete professionally? I, I'm going to think about it for sure. I'll definitely consider. I know you guys already make a lot of money fishing team tournaments. So we kind of shot a little bit of a controversial question this morning, and it got brought up earlier on stage about whether or not guys can, I think it was Secret brought it up, whether or not guys give her the credit she deserves. So this was a great chance for her to showcase her talent. You put up what was it 28 pounds in two days solo uh, in your first pro tournament i think uh you need a little bit more credit than you deserve so high five hopefully we'll see you at table rock you're currently in second place we'll see where you finish up and carmichael needs 1405 to knock terry Sendrick out of that seat did you say bye i said bye. she said bye <laughs> she's got five fish <laughs> 1581, 15 over 81. Give Miss Terry uh, handshakes and stuff. The 2023 Angler of the Year is guaranteed at least 30 top three, though. She's going to weigh one for Big Bass real quick. Nice Four ten on that bass. Let's hold up a couple for a photo. Come on up, Cedric. Grab this other two. I will gladly take a photo with her. <laughs> you know, give me the mic. She offered when my boat was broke down. I was in fifth and she was in second. And she offered me to fish with her, and we would split the day for four hours and four hours. That is sportsmanship. Talk about sportsmanship right there. That's a second situation on the boater side, not counting all the baits and stuff. <laughs> She's going to hide now. So, good sportsmanship. Cindy Adler Jackson's going to be up next, but first we're going to talk a little bit to Miss Ann Carmichael. She's going to be taking over the hot seat. She weighed 30.23 for a two day wait. So, give her a round of applause. 30.23 for a two day wait. That's kind of cool, right? Here in the crowd. Yeah. Right. How was the fishing? How did you catch them? Tell us a little bit about your week. Um, my week went really well. Um, the cold front last week kind of pushed them out and I was still able to follow them and uh, I was catching them on the Texas rig crawl. That's it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm not really Exposed, screw lock, any of the nothing. Yeah. You're just like, secret, we're coming back here in a couple of years. <laughs> None of you are finding out exactly how it worked. It was a crawl. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. What would it mean to, to win this? Uh, dream come true. 
Dream Country, have you ever won an LBAA event? I have not, no. Oh, man, we had a first-time co-angler winner. We have a chance for a first-time winner today because I'm pretty sure that has to happen, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty epic. Anybody you want to thank? Sponsors, anybody? Uh, yes. My husband drove all the way up from Bryant just so he could be here for this weigh-in. Where is and Mr. He, husband at? And he surprised Wave me. Wave your hands. <laughs> give him a round of applause. All right. He didn't tell me he was coming or anything. Anything, so all right, thank well. you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you get to sit in that few seats for a minute while we talk to Miss Cindy Adler Jackson. Was there anything else you want to talk about? Uh, yeah, I want to thank Brooks Marine and Boxite, um, Miss Randy and Miss Karen. Thank you so much for all your support. Uh, we really appreciate it. My husband is a mechanic there, and I also work part time there installing electronics. Have a seat for a minute in that Vex's hot seat. You don't have to sit all the way down. You can just lean if you want. It is a tall chair. Hold on, Miss Sandy. <laughs> Come on up. She in a hurry. She needs 1535. Does she have it? Oh, you set that down hard. How much is it? 1255. 1255. That's gonna make Ann Carmichael, or yeah, Ann Carmichael your champion. But first, let's get Cindy Adler Jackson's photo. Cindy Adler Jackson and Chloe Barnum are fighting it out for Rising Star Reward. Let's get Cindy's photo first. And we'll talk about who won that little side pot of $500 thanks to Highway 125. Woo! All right, I'm going to pass off these fish. There's paper towels right here in front of you. You want to dry your hand there? You knew you didn't have it, huh? So I knew I didn't have it. So you were like, come on, roll on with the interviews. I, I got stuff to yeah, do. I want to yeah. go back fishing. Yeah, I'm tired. Right. Running after a two-year-old and fishing all day is exhausting, but I wouldn't change it for anything. Um, I had a great week. Um, I do drive a Vexus. I have a 2080 aluminum uh, Vexus, and it held up great yesterday in the waves and today. So if you're looking for a boat, go aluminum and go Vexus, and I can. they are local, so I can give you a tour or hook you up with getting a tour so make sure if you're interested or looking for a boat come see us awesome well i don't want to break any bad news to you because you didn't win today you were eligible for the highway 125 marina rising star award we talked about it this morning it came down between you and chloe it's okay i won chloe. toyota bucks toyota's rock toyota's do rock yes. okay so chloe barnum is going to win the side pot from highway 125 for riding star good job chloe. you won some money on the toyota what's it like to drive a toyota there's no other truck compare. It, yeah, yeah, except I drive a Jeep too, so I like my Jeep. But to Toyota trucks are, they pull great, um, they get you where you want, they haul things. It's fantastic. Awesome. Well, good job today. Thanks a lot for fishing with us. We Make sure you follow her YouTube channel too. She launched her YouTube channel, her TikTok. She's meant to be a voter, by the way. Absolutely meant to be a voter. Give them a round of applause. Your Bull Shoals 2024 stop number two women's pro bass tour champions. All right, take a picture of the pros right there. Miss Ann Carmichael, Perry Sundrick, and Chloe Barnum.